Nice. Welcome back to Bazin' at the Dark. We have a treat for you tonight, family. He's a favorite here on TV One. Family, show some love for comedian Rodney Perry. <laughs> know why is it that when men catch a woman cheating that he leave well it's natural that I break it down to y'all first of all it's simple Mike George it's simple <laughs> first of all any woman that cheat really like the dude she cheating with <laughs> see a dude might cheat cuz it's Wednesday <laughs> A woman that cheat, cheat with a dude she really like, and that's the bottom line of it. So give it, give it up for that, child, and stop cheating, God damn it. I've been married 11 years, y'all. Give me a hand, 11 years, y'all. Every year, my wife tells me she gonna leave me. Every year, she say, Rodney, I'm leaving. Every year, Rodney, I'm leaving. Every year, Rodney, I'm leaving. I look up every year, and she's still there. I'm just tired of the damn lies, you understand me? <laughs> if you gonna leave, leave. Don't tease a brother with freedom. Let me ask you this. Anybody ever been in Menage a Trois? Make some noise, Menage a Trois? I know, uh, I know some of y'all with your significant other, you can't really say nothing, so blink your eyes if you have. Blink your eyes. Bam, I see you, dog. Big dog, I see you, Pimmy. I see one dude, he blinked so damn hard, he almost passed out. Ah. <laughs> Got something to clip about the Menage a Trois. Some people think the Menage a Trois is simply sex with three people. That is not entirely true. Two girls and a guy. That's a Menage a Trois. It's beautiful. It's something you want to be a part of. Two dudes and a chick is not a menage a trois. It's a train, dog. It's a train. Anytime you got to do waiting, you know. <laughs> I love the ladies. How many fellas love women? Make some noise, love women. Oh, whoa, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Some of y'all ain't moved. That makes me nervous, George. Uh, I guess we gotta clear this up. The down lows make some noise. Down low brothers, this fucking here. Hello. <laughs> down low. How many ladies mad at the down low brothers? Y'all some... mad at these dudes? I see y'all. Uh... Let me tell you something. It ain't just the women that gotta worry about the dudes. Fellas, you gotta worry about the down low brother. They say the down low brother can look at you, see if you down with that mess. They say he can look at you, dog. Let me tell you something. I don't even make eye contact with dudes no more. You understand me? I don't look at no dude more than a couple seconds. Boom, and I move on. And I keep blinking so he can't get no bead on me. You gotta blink, cause the down low brother never blink. He go his whole life without blinking. He be right here his whole life. <laughs> Eyeballs dry like a mug, he just. <laughs> I don't know about y'all, but I'm glad the down low brother came out, cause now you got a brand new respect for the regular old gay dude. I got a respect for the, come on, we all got a gay cousin, uncle or something, make some noise, we got a gay cousin. Come on, y'all. See, the thing is, a lot of people was gay back in the day when you didn't know what gay was. See, when you was a kid, you didn't know what gay was. Everybody playing football, you got this one cousin over there hula hooping like a mug. <laughs> <laughs> we all playing kickball, he double dutching like a mug. <laughs> the question came up, they say, are gay people born? I said, I used to say no, but I got to think, I got my cousin Tony. My cousin Tony been gay all his life. My cousin Tony was a gay baby. <laughs> He used to lay in his crib and cry like this. Uh... <laughs> I think black folks, we got to get back to big black families. We got to get back to making babies. Wouldn't be no cheating if we was making babies. It wouldn't be no cheating. You wouldn't have time to cheat if you was making a baby somewhere. Make a baby and you ain't have to tell. See, see, I'm tell y'all something. Black folks, we, we start making these one and two kid families and y'all just got arrogant. Think your, your genes good enough to have two good kids in a row. That ain't what it is. We got to get back to the 18 kid families, ladies. <laughs> That's right. We got to get back to 18. I need every woman to commit to knocking out 18 kids. <laughs> then your family got to
right hand. You can have four or five kids go to college. You understand me? You can have a crackhead, a drug addict, a, a lesbian, a homosexual. Your family got a chance. You make two kids, both of them go to jail. Now where yet, huh? Huh? Now where yet? <laughs> Ladies, you want to stop your man from cheating? Be the woman that he fell in love with. Be the woman that he was completely enamored. Be that chick. Be the strong chick that he walked up to in the club. You got to go back to, see, y'all be doubting yourself too much. Women be doubting it. I, I don't look, you don't look at me the same way. How can you know? That's what it sounds like, fellas, ain't it? How come you don't? Why don't you never? Let me tell you something, ladies. Your man love you, you understand? All the stuff you think is wrong with you, a dude love that. Everything you think is messed up about you, that's all he, it's a lady in here right now with that keloid on her ear. Uh -huh. It's a dude that's going, look at them earlobes. <laughs> it's a woman in here right now, her baby toe just as big as her big toe. <laughs> it's a dude that love that pedicure. Hey y'all, my name is Rodney Perry, y'all have a good one. family.